Uh, another day, another story of a cop who shot an unarmed black man and is going to get away with it. In this case, the person who was shot was Jordan Baker, and uh, this happened in Texas. And uh, unfortunately, a grand jury uh, has decided that the police officer who did it, Juventino Castro, uh, will get away with it. Here's the news. Uh, Texas grand jury has officially cleared an officer of any wrongdoing after he fatally shot an unarmed man back in January. Officer Juventino Castro will face no charges in the deadly shooting of the 26-year-old Jordan Baker. Now, they explain uh, how things went down that night. In a police report filed after the killing, Castro said there was a scuffle and a foot chase into the alley after the officer asked to see Baker's ID. Castro told investigators he shot Baker after the man allegedly charged the cop. Is that convenient? Every time unarmed people start charging armed officers, because that's a rational thing to do. They just magically, every time a guy gets shot when he's unarmed, we find out the cop thinks in an alley where nobody, there was no other witnesses. Oh yeah, sure, he was charging it. Okay. Now, you were asking for the guy's ID. You don't even know if he did anything wrong. Why did you let that escalate into shooting him dead? So there's got to be a moment with the cops where they go, hey, you know what? Maybe I don't need to kill this guy. Maybe there's another answer here. And even if he's fleeing from me, even if there was a scuffle, oh my God, how dare he? So you, for disrespecting a police officer, not showing your ID is the biggest crime in America. So of course he's going to escalate. And then number two, if you have a scuffle, and we don't know if there was, the cop says there was. If you have a scuffle, oh, forget it. Then you're allowed to do anything you want. You can put a bullet in him, etc. But these things should not be the case. It, in many jurisdictions, you don't have to show ID. And you certainly shouldn't be executed for not showing ID or even getting in a scuffle. And let's say you got in a scuffle and the guy started running away. What happened? Your pride got hurt, right? So that's why you shot him? No, I, as, let me guess, as every, they say every time, there was a scuffle, he started running away, and then he changed his mind. Hey, Trayvon Martin, running away from George Zimmerman, changes his mind and then charges at him. Right? Michael Brown, running away from De Officer Darren Wilson, changes his mind and charges at him, all according to either the cops or Zimmerman in the first case. And in this case, again, Jordan Baker, scuffle, seems like he's unarmed, so he seems like he's running away, nope, changes his mind, rushes at the cop, who's then forced to shoot him and kill him. This also the option of uh, non-lethal force, there's the option of calling for backup, there's the option of finding the guy later without putting a bullet in But no, 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 if you hurt a cop's pride, that is a lethal offense. So Jordan Baker is dead, and once again, uh, we will not even have a trial. Uh, the officer has been cleared, and there will be no pursuit of justice.